There was never any idea of becoming a movie star in it at all. I just kept working my butt off. Church and the sun. I didn't see no, no, no footage of uh, Terry Perkins to watch. There's lots of photos. That was fairly amusing. And I'm um, finally getting my. Uh, um, but that is a good photo. That's a good photo. These are old, old cockneys, and I don't recognize a uh, uh, sort of younger generation of them. You know, it's very different. And also, there are masses of different nationalities in London now, you know. And, and so, any group of people you're going to get, you're going to get some of them are going to be criminals, like some of these white Englishmen were criminals. I, w I was from the same district and the same kind of person. I wasn't a criminal. But some of them were, including a couple of my relations. But uh, I don't think you're going to get that generation of, of, of English criminals now. Yeah, and you think you have lost some of the values of you know the old East End? Oh yeah, I think I think that's gone now. Yeah, that's gone. Yeah, forever. I think it's a story about old age in a way, and there's not a lot of films made about. It. I mean, Michael made a point today, you know. Um, that recently they've been making more films like, like that since, um, since a certain film he'd done a little while back. But And I think that's great because then it's about characters and it's about people, you know. I think we play this film very straight as a heist robbery film. But being the age we were, I think, and the situations we were in, I think that's where the humour comes from, you know. I, it's, it's much more funnier than I expected it to be, you know. Yeah. It's not a modern crime what they committed. They committed. A, they went down a lift shaft and drilled for a wall. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't what they do today on computers, moving money from bank to bank, account to account. This was an old-fashioned blag, you know. No one there got. There's no shotguns, nothing like that. They went in and burgled the place, you know. You know, it's a, it's a sort of dark humour, isn't it? Really, you know. It's a, it's a, you know, it's such an audacious plan, and the, the subtext always is what happens if they get caught. You know, so. Well, and I know there's been the some people saying, years, well, hang out, you know, that was people's actually, savings in there. But there's some ill-gotten gains <laughs> in there as well, so, <laughs> you know. Well, that's what I'm saying, you know, yeah, I know, it's, 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 a, it's a sort of tightrope, really, you know, you, where your sympathies lie. But, um, you know, whatever the morality, people like a caper movie and nobody got physically hurt. So, you know, you, you can understand why it, it sort of resonated with the public so much and it was so audacious as well uh, you know it's a it's an interesting story so somebody's going to tell it aren't 